Puan Zainab binti Ismail teaching in SK Kampung Pasir Putih. I'm teaching English for year 6. Hi Iza. Uh, how are you today? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. You look cheerful today. Why are you so cheerful? Yes, uh, yesterday was my mother's birthday and I gave her big presents and big chocolate cake. She, she is your mother and she is the best. Have you taken your breakfast today? Yes. This morning, right? Okay, Solihin, right? What do you have for breakfast today? Yes, teacher. This morning, my mother cooked delicious dishes. They use some words that describe, Iza describes her mother. Okay? Okay, when I ask her, why is she cheerful? Right, so she answered because it is her mother's birthday, right? And she gave her mother a birthday present and her mother was very happy. Right, okay. For Solihin, right? He also used some adjectives in his dialogue just now. Okay. Can you tell me what is the adjective that he uses? Delicious. 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 Very good. Delicious. Okay, now. Okay. We are going to listen to a song. Okay. I'll give you some worksheets that will be the lyric of the song. You have to listen to the song and then fill in the gaps. Can you do that? Yes. yes, okay. Okay, do you get the lyrics? Yes. Okay. What you have to do now is, right, you have to exchange the papers with your friend. Right? Exchange the papers with your friend. I will highlight the lyrics. Now, you tick the gaps. Right? See whether your friend has written the correct lyric. Right? Can you do? Okay, let's try.
Petition. Okay, now uh, anyone with all the lyrics correct? Okay, raise your hands if you have your friend's work, right? That is your friend's work. Okay, and they managed to get all the lyrics right. Okay, sorry, whose paper is that? Nuriza. Okay, give a big clap to Nuriza. Okay, Iza, there's something for you. Right? Choose a. Okay. Now, who else? Is now? these words that you fill in are adjectives. Okay, the first one was sad. sad. The next one? Bad. Bad, okay. Next? Wealthy. Wealthy. You know what is the meaning of wealthy? Yes. Okay, what is the synonym for wealthy? Rich. Rich, very good. Rich. Now we are going to continue with the second activity. The group leader, okay, I want you to come here and choose these cards. Right? Each group will have three cards. Okay, Isa, come. Choose two cards. Right? From here. There are numbers here. Okay? You can take any one. Choose. If you want to take eight and six. Okay, then you take the cards. Five and four. Okay? Next group. You open up the cards, look at the pictures. Right? This is four. Okay, this is four number four. This is four number five. Right? Open up. You have two groups, right? Two cards there. One will be, uh, yours is number eight and number, this is number six. Now, what you have to do is, now, the first card is this picture with only a face, right? With only a face. Now, you have to read the description, right? Use the details or description given here and then you assemble the parts, okay? Then, the next task is you have to write a description about... Who is the person in the, in the, for your description? This is your aunt. 
So when you have, you can see, right, the assembled parts here. Now you have to write the description about your aunts. Right. I have an example here. Right. You see how it should be carried out. Okay, boys and girls. Yes. Okay. Now just have a look. Okay. Now this is the face of a boy. Okay. Then you assemble. Okay. Clothings, right? And then you have sneakers and also a racket plus a shuttle cock. Okay, when you have assembled that, the next task is you have to write the description. Right, the description can be like this. Okay, a sample text for the task. Okay, so you just write. This is your writing skill. Okay, so when you have completed the puzzle right follow the descriptions and then you write you can discuss with your among your friends right discuss with your friends and write the description can we start now yes okay Okay, we'll start the presentation with the brave group. Okay, the rest you have to listen, right? This is my classmate Kamal. He lives at Taman Bersatu. Kamal is of the same age as me. He has a chubby face and pointed chin. He has curly and frizzy hair. Kamal has a pair of bright, lively eyes and a flat nose. He is very cute when he is smiling. Kamal is a handsome guy. He wears a yellow and black striped shirt and a pair of blue jeans. Kamal also wears a pair of blue sneakers. He has a heart of gold and loves to help people in need. Okay, very good. Thank you for the presentation. Okay, now give them a big clap. Okay, now let's listen to the second group that is from the smart group. Okay. Hi, my name is Iza and this is my friend Salihin. We are representing the smart group. Me and my grandmother, Puan Zabida, we live in the same house. She has an oval-shaped face. Although she is old, she is very strong and healthy. She has a grey hair with a bun and a wrinkled face. She looks lovely in her colourful baju kedah and her local printed batik sarong. Every day, she will go to the market to buy groceries. Every time she goes to the market, she always carries a rattan basket. She always wears a pair of sandals. She is loving and adorable person. Thank okay, thank you, uh, Iza and Solihin. Okay, give them a big clap. The objectives of my lesson today is that the pupils would be able to use adjectives in their writing and they could describe things, objects, animals and people using adjectives. The next act activity is mind mapping. Right? Okay, I'll give you a worksheet. Okay? And it is about different things. Okay, one group will get uh, have to write the adjectives for people, right? The next group will be on animals. The next group will be adjectives on things, and one more group will be on food, right? Okay, what you have to do is, right? When I give these papers to you, you have to discuss in your own. Group, right? And write down the adjectives. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, very good.
Okay, completed your work? Yes. Okay, now we will look at presentations by two more groups, right? Okay, now I would like to call upon uh, Natasha from the Bright Group. My name is Natasha. I am from Bright Group. I am present about the people. The adjective of father is responsible, stern and hardworking. Mother are loving, beautiful and cute. Teacher are helpful, caring and smart. Friends are kind, caring and friendly. Okay, that is uh, about people, right? That is about people and these are the adjectives. Okay, thank you Natasha, you may sit down. Let's hear the presentation from the popular group. Okay, Adiba, please come to the front. Hello friends, my name is Adiba. I am from Group Popular. The adjectives about things are huge, beautiful, big, smooth, colorful, rough, small, red and juicy, long, thin, thick and short. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Thank you Adiba. You may sit down. Now, we have learned about adjectives, right? Okay, as a conclusion, okay, as for your homework, what I want you to do is Right in your grammar book, okay, you have to write down twenty adjectives, right? Twenty adjectives that you have learned today, and you write a simple sentence for that adjective. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, so that will be your homework. How many adjectives? Twenty, 20 adjectives in your grammar. grammar book. Very good. Okay, so that is all for today. Okay, the techniques used in my lesson are one is brainstorming where the pupils uh, answer to the teacher's questions and then uh, we had uh, mind mapping where pupils have to use mind maps to describe the adjectives. Okay, and also uh, group work where pupils work in teams and they could present uh, confidently. Uh, I think this kind of uh, activities is suitable for the excellent groups where they can uh, work together and deliver their task.